Elvia, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. um, in, I'm sorry. In Monday, I left work late, and yesterday, there was not energy in my house oh really oh my yeah that's a problem and look elvia i need you uh, let's see so tell me so monday you have to work late in my work in five minutes to play Okay, so mm. you have to do the, the payment. What do you do in your job? An accountant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's a problem. When it's payday, you have to be like working a lot. Yeah, in Monday, who? Yeah, Sorry, what? I can imagine. So you're an accountant. That's nice. What's the name of your company? My name is, is Azure El Salvador. Azure, yeah. I remember I was working with some people from Azure. Yeah, I have worked with some of your co-workers actually. Yo he trabajado con algunos compañeros de trabajo suyo. Con Leiva. Yeah, I think so. Um, Karen Garcia. And yes. Oscar Rodriguez. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I was teaching them in a group, I remember. Karen is a short lady, right? No. Then perhaps I'm mistaken. It's just that I got so many students, but yeah, I have worked with people from Asura, I remember. So tell me, how long have you worked for the company? Mm. How long have you worked for the company? Mm. It's Five. Five years? No, I don't. Two years. Two years. In the company. Okay. Two years in the company. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, so you've been working for the company for two years. Yes. Okay, that's nice. And hold on. Oh my gosh. I'm texting some of your classmates and it's taking me. They are having problems to connect. Okay, let's see. So tell me, Elvia, where did you work before? Where do you work? Where did you work before the previous company? Um, in the company ad hoc. Oh, really? Um, how, long did, how long did you work for that company? Four years. Four years? Okay. That's interesting. Four years in the same company. Wow. So that means that you've been working for a long while. Okay. And where do you live, Elvia? In Santo Tomas. I'm sorry? In Santo Tomas. Oh, it's hot there. It's very hot. Have you lived in Santo Tomas your whole life, all the time? Have you, have you lived, have you vivido in Santo Tomas all your life? Um, the, since, desde, since, 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 um, Tell me the Spanish. Born. Dígame en español, yo se lo traduzco. Desde pequeño, desde que nací. I... Okay. Born. It's, it's like Born. this. Look. Since I. Oops, I'm sorry. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay, it's like this. It's since I. Since I was born, like this. Since, born. Since I was born. Okay. So it's been a it's been a while. Ya tiene rato. Yes. That's nice. That's nice. Well, thank you very much and welcome to the class, Sylvia. Thanks. Fernando, my friend. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Sorry, Fernando. I was not working in the computer today, but tomorrow I will, okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Good evening. How are you, my friend? Uh, you uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, just I I finished my, my dinner. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Still, I, I drink coffee. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, a cup of coffee is always good. Yeah, the coffee is, is um, oh, bless. I, it's, it's a pleasure. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, it's a guilty pleasure. It's un placer culposo. Because uh, you know, we know that it's not that good, but mm, we still drink it. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. Yeah, it is. Tell me about it. I got gastritis, but still I yeah. cannot avoid it. I mean, for me, my cup, my daily cup of coffee are mandatory. Uh, yeah, but it's dangerous, but it, it's delicious. Yeah, I know, I know, my friend. 
That's I one take, of my uh, I take, uh, I don't know, three or four cups of coffees. Uh, during the day. day. And during along, the day. You can say during the day, day, or you can say along the day. So it's either during the day, or you can say along the day, a lo largo del día. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, by the way, I I drink more coffee in my office than in my house because in okay. my office uh, the there's the coffee machine. No, no, no. Is the, the AC is, is cool. Oh, that's why. Yes. In my in house my... is hot. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I where I work is hot. And I always have a cup of coffee around 12 30 at noon. At noon. With, with, yeah. with the lunch. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's mandatory for me. No. no I, I don't I don't have I don't take coffee. No, I don't drink coffee at the lunch. At yeah, the lunch no, I, I drink do. some some drink uh cool. Okay, actually, when I, with my lunch, I just take water. But like 10 minutes after lunch, I get a cup of coffee. Oh, <laughs> excellent. Yeah, that way I wake up again for the rest of the day. Yeah, uh, in, in my case, I, I drink coffee at, in the afternoon at 3 p.m., 4 p.m. And, oh. and then uh um hasta until uh, until until on then until the until the dinner until and dinner until, until dinner, dinner. Uh, until dinner and some sometimes uh after the class before i i before i i go to sleep yeah, that don't worry, that happens to me. I take a cup of coffee sometimes right before going to sleep. I take my cup of coffee, brush my teeth, and go to sleep. Yeah. Uh, I, I, in my case, uh, the, the coffee, it, it doesn't may affect to no. sleep. For sleeping. Uh, for sleeping. Uh, uh, me neither. For me sleeping. neither. Me yeah. neither. It doesn't affect me at all. I mean, I take my cup of coffee and then go to sleep. Cool. Like, es no un, problem at all. Es un tabú, como, como diría, es un tabú. Yeah, it's a tabú. It's a tabú, huh? Okay. Yeah, it's a tabú yeah. that coffee uh, affect the, the drink. The sleeping pattern. Oh, sleeping. Yeah, the sleeping, the sleeping pattern. Los patrones de sueño. Ah, the sleeping, the sleeping pattern. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Drink is is for is for um, no sé, un, algo que uno quiere hacer. Yeah. Yeah. You know, actually, when I want to stay up late, what I do is drink water. Okay. It, it's like if I am driving very late at night. The way my handle like 2 3 a.m. and 3 de la mañana. And I'm sleepy. What I do is get a bottle of cold water. The cold water uh, le quita el keeps sueño. me awake. Yeah, keeps uh, me awake. Keeps me awake. Um, lo mantiene despierto. Keeps me awake. Yeah. Keeps okay. me awake. The water keeps, keeps you awake. It keeps me awake. Me mantiene. It keeps me awake. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the, cool. the, the same as debt, you know. Me funciona igual que la deuda. Yeah. It's the, it's the same. It's the same yeah. effort. Yeah, it's exactly the same effect. Thank you very much, Fernando. Yeah. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. My friend Walter, hello, how are you? 
Hello, teacher. Good evening. And I'm fine, teacher. And I'm good. Okay. And my work, my work teacher. Uh, and we had no, we had not much uh, work. Oh, really? And, yes, so it was relaxed and, today. Yes. And, and la papa caliente está en producción. En production. <laughs> okay. So the and production the time, area and time is. And, and you are area, in designing. Relax. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Carmen, relax. Design. Uh, okay. So, so, oh, yeah. You were uh, you were with mass. patterns, right? Usted trabaja con patterns, right? Excuse me. You work with patterns. Usted trabaja con los patrones. Ah, oh, yes, yes. And the and the so, uh, design the pattern patterns. So. So you now you are relaxed. Production are the ones yes. who are like busy. Uh, uh, for the moment, teacher, uh, relax. Uh, okay, and, that's cool. And one month, he, uh, um, a lot of much more. Uh, okay. Like, okay, it's like this. Look, in one month, I will have. I will have. Mm -hmm. Hold on, just a second, just a second. Solo esperen. Okay. It's like this. Read it, please. In one month, oh, okay. I will have In lots of work. I will have lots of work, yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Well, that's cool. Uh, you know. and, 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 and they, and celebrity, uh, and, and they, the fathers. Oh, Father's Day. Yeah, oh, Father's Day. And today. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Uh, they celebrated? Uh, uh, yes, and tomorrow uh, is a day off. And, and tomorrow in my house. Oh, really? A day uh, off. And my, and my work? Yes, and my work uh, and today. A celebrity the day the father, father days. Okay. Uh, 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 nos dieron? How did you say nos dieron? Uh, almuerzo. Oh, okay. They they gave us. You can say it different ways. Lo puedes decir de distinta manera. They gave us a lunch. Puedes decir de distinta manera. Lunch. Oh, okay. They gave us a lunch, or you can say they invited us. And then gave us uh, cheers. You can say they invited us. Puedes decir nos invitaron. Y está oh, okay. el que es. Ok, listen, listen. Este que le voy a poner es más coloquial, o sea, es más... Uh, you can say it like this. Teacher, este, a las 8 y 35 me voy, a, me voy a desconectar y después voy a volver a conectarme porque tengo que hacer algo esa hora. Tipo 9, 9 y 10 voy a estar conectado de nuevo. 8 y 35 me, me voy a salir oh. y voy a volver a entrar. Ok, okay. we'll be waiting for you. You can say it like this, look. They treat us for lunch. Okay, they treat us for lunch. Okay. Yes, treat. It's like this. Well, uh, thank you very much, Walter. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, tell me. Eh, 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 ¿Cómo puedo decir? Nos regalaron una camisa. How do you say? Oh, uh, really? So? They gave us yes. a cheer. They, ah, they, they also gave us a cheer. Yeah, they gave us a cheer. Nice. So it was a good oh. day for you. Yes, good day. And tomorrow, uh, very, day off. very late. Oh, that's cool, that's cool. Well, thank you, Walter, congratulations. Uh, and you're welcome. welcome. Okay. Okay, now, now guys, listen up. When I say treat, treat is used colloquially. It's like this, like imagine that, uh, Maria invites all the class for lunch. Okay. Or we we get together in a in a joint and we say, hey, uh, let's have lunch. And at the end, Maria says, Don't worry, it's my treat. Okay. I'll treat you for lunch. Another way to say. Otra manera de decir, yo pago es when you say it's on me. 
don't worry, it's on me. Okay. That means I am going to pay. Well, Edward, hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. Uh, I'm fine, fine. Coming, coming house. <laughs> coming home. Coming, oh, okay. coming home. Right. <laughs> coming home. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, my day was well. full of problems and with buying diesel and what, what invoice. Oh. For the invoices, yeah. okay. uh, okay, problem so with taxes, uh, IVA, yeah, very much problem. <laughs> yeah. So, unlike unlike Walter, you had a heavy day. Unlike, uh, contrary, unlike yes. Walter, you had a heavy day. Okay. So, what exactly do you do, Edward? What exactly do you do in your company? Um, I, I am, I am, I am yeah. manager, manager. Oh, a in, big responsibility. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, in my in my site, uh, we are um five different uh, border or um, frontiers. Borders, Borders. Yeah. okay. Um, I am the res res um, responsible. responsible, responsible, um, the costume Santana. Okay, you can also say it like this. Look, let me put it así. Oops, I'm sorry. You can say, I am the one in charge. Estoy a cargo. Okay, okay. I, I am, am the one in charge, charge of Santana's custom. Okay, thanks. thanks. Oh, really? So it's a big responsibility. Yes, yes. Como uh, si yo no hago nada. Como es referent um, um operation department um maybe i don't uh, make but but you're in the administrative area yes 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 um is here um como sería debo estar pendiente <clears throat> i must be aware I must be aware. I must be aware um, the the old todo lo que pase en el sitio. everything that happens. Okay, now I got a question okay. for you. Tell me, in your position as a manager, are you on call all the time? Do you know that expression to be on call? Entiende la pregunta? When I ask you if you are, are you on call? Cuando le pregunto que si está on call, I am asking you si está a, a disposición de que le llamen ah. en cualquier momento and you have to go. Yeah. Um, yes. Okay. 24-7. That, <laughs> that's to be, that's to be on call. Remember that phrase. Okay. Okay. So you say, I am, I have to be on call all the time. That means that they call you, you go. Okay. Uh, yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so it's, it's not easy. <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, but... um, I, I live in Nahuizalco and uh -huh. my work here, uh, there is in Santana. Oh, um, really? You live in Nahuizalco, Nahuizalco, let me see. In the proper town or before? In the proper pueblo one? Ah, um, in, in downtown. And sería, sí, en el propio pueblo. Como dijo? Uh, yeah, in the, in the 
in the town or before the town? Oh, in the town, the town. Oh, yeah. You know, my 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 grandpa used to live, but before my Wixalco in San Genaro. Oh, uh, San Genaro is um, more more uh, next to Sonsonate. Yeah, it's closer to Sonsonate than to yes. San Wixalco. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you got a big responsibility, but you know what's the big, what's good about your job? The big box, my friend, the big box. <laughs> nah, nah, <I> can't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, Edward, welcome to the class and thank you. Thanks. Okay, guys, let me see. I need to get uh, your attendance. Let's see. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez. Here? Oh, that's weird. Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito? Present teacher. Okay, perfect. LBI Chanet Beltran de Cabrera? Present teacher. Pausa Antonio Landaverde López? Here. Fernando Marvin González Martínez? Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía? Present teacher. Perfect. Hold on. Perfect. And Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla Maria Los Guevara Callejas. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. Here, Maria Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Here, Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Here, Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero Desea. Present teacher. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. And Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. And Sandra Beatriz Hernández. Okay, let's see. There's just a few of us today. Sabemos poquitos. Okay. Let's see. Maria, Maria, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. And you? How do you feel? Oh. <laughs> hello. My hand hurts. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> no, but it's going to take long. So tell me, how was your day, Marie? It was a um, busy day, but in the night for of Republic of Dominican Republic. Yes. It's very easy. <laughs> I don't have a lot of case. And, and today is... I finished the jornada. The shift? I finished the shift because tomorrow I start my vacation. Already? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's cool. You know, I am missing all your co-workers. Me hacen falta todos sus compañeros. But I don't know. Because yeah. they in the different zip. No, 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 department. Department. No, no, no. I will tell them, Maria told me it was an easy day. Yo le voy a decir, Maria me dijo que nada habían hecho todo el día. <laughs> ya les puso el dedo. Yeah. No, it's yeah, a lie. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, Maria, and tell me, what are the plans for the vacation? Where are you going? What are you doing? 
Uh, I don't have a lot of plans, but I will paint in the apartment. Okay. I, I start. Will paint. I, I will, will paint. paint the apartment. I start, but not finish because I I only. Solo yo lo estoy haciendo. Oh, okay. I am the only one doing it. I am the only one doing um, it's more difficult. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I'm the only one doing it. Like this. I'm the only one doing it. I'm the yeah, only it's, it's more difficult when there's just you doing something. I can yes. imagine. <laughs> okay, maybe. Yeah. Which colors are you going to use? Blue what, and gray. <laughs> what's your palette? Blue and gray. Ooh, but is the gray most, is very light. Um, it is similar to the, the white. Okay, well. And I the got... blue, is the similar or my curtain? Curtains, curtains. Curtains, curtains. Maybe. Blue navy. Navy, navy. Yeah, navy blue. <laughs> navy blue. Well, um, you know, I got gray and I got gray. Actually, in the garage, I got gray and purple, but a very light purple. Ah, uh, a tie of lila. Yeah, uh -huh. even softer, un poquito más suave. Uh -huh. and, this, and in the living room and some of the rooms, I got a shade of pink, but it's so soft that depending on the light, looks white. Oh, wow. But it's very, very soft. You very know, fine. you know, I don't choose the colors. <laughs> I'm not the one choosing the colors. I'm the one painting. <laughs> I choose the, the colors, but I maybe have a dude for the maybe because doubt. Doubt. doubt doubt for the color maybe because my sister say me uh, the told apartment me. told me told me told me the um, the apartment feel is most um, tiny Okay, well, in that case, what you need to do is remember uh, you can combine or you can contrast. Okay, you can combine or you can contrast. That happens, and depending, you can look in the in the internet for for explanations how to use the colors in order to make the spaces look bigger, because Sometimes when you contrast, you can make a room look taller or longer or wider, depending on the colors you use. So you can do that. You can look for some info, some images that are going to help you. I mean, yeah. it, could, it could be a good idea. Look first for images where you see the colors because sometimes a color can help you for the for the room to look uh, bigger or wider or taller, like in uh, like in Fernando's. Look at Fernando's image. He's got a green, but <laughs> in the top is light. You see, so it can make it look higher. Yes. So those little details help. Oh, nice talking to you, Maria. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> hey, Rita, how are you? Hi, teacher. Fine. I I stay in the my mother house. At my mom's house. Yeah. At um, my at, at my mother house. Yeah. Oh really? Why? In the Why uh, 9 p.m. I 
going to the my house. Oh, at 9 p.m. you're going to your house. Yeah. Oh, really? I I take off the camera. <laughs> the camera, okay, but be listening to the class, okay? That's very important. Remember, uh, you need the minutes also. Okay, yeah. I only uh, hear. Yeah, yeah listen, listen. Listen. Uh, okay. I only listen. But, but tell me, Rita, how was your day? What did you do today? It's very busy. I all day, all day in the computer. Okay. And I make the report very, very big. Okay, a very um, big report. A very big report. A very big report. I know finisher. I. Ouch. In, in um, the Friday. Okay, you will finish on Friday. On Friday. On Friday. Okay. Because well, tomorrow is vacation. <laughs> tomorrow is a holiday. It's a holiday. You can say it's a holiday. You can say it's a it's a day off. Okay. Well, but not for everybody. Because let's see. Well, thank you very much, Rita. Okay. And welcome to the class, Sylvia. What about you, Sylvia? In your case, is tomorrow a day off? No, right? Hello, teacher. No, it's going to be a hard day for us. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, your yes. area, specifically your area, it's going to be like, tomorrow is going to be good for the company, but a heavy day. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's it. We are going to have uh, many clients. Okay, uh -huh. but uh, do you maintain the same, the same uh, schedule or do you have a special schedule on no, I maintain the same schedule. Regular. Regular, yes. Okay. From seven but in you're... the morning to three p.m. Oh, that's cool. Yes, that's cool. But still, you got lunch time. Yes, I have an hour. No, no, no. I mean, you got lunch time on on. You got lunch time to attend client. A lunch time. What is the meaning of that? Oh, okay. What I mean is this. I'm sorry. I'm not expressing myself. What I mean is that uh, even though you are getting up early, you are getting up early. Still, at lunch time, you are going to be attending clients. And lunch time, due to the fact that it's a festivity, is going to be hard. Yes. Right? Yes. I imagine it's that going tomorrow. To be hard. You expect it to be packed. Mm -hmm. When I tell packed her, is like I, busy. When I say, oh, that's what I was going to explain. When I tell you packed, I mean that it's going to be full, a lot of people. Okay, it's yes. informal to say crowded. Es una manera informal de decir que va a estar. We say in Spanish, lleno. Okay. Okay. So, we, so we say in English, it's going to be packed. Yeah, in your area, it's a whole different story. Well, welcome to the class, Sylvia. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you. Hey, Francisco, how are you? What? Perhaps Francisco is not available? In my work. Uh, oh. In, uh, a lot of work. <laughs> okay, then just listen. Later you are going to participate, okay? And other okay. Participate. Mentira, okay. son, mentira, no hace nada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, no, yo. <laughs> Aquí estamos con todo. <laughs> okay, teacher. Oh, that's why he doesn't activate the camera. He's busy, he's busy. Thank you, Francisco. Hey, Wilfredo, how are you? Fine, teacher. 
Come on, Wilfredo, what's that attitude? I see that you are like, uh, come on. How are you today? Tomorrow it is was, a day off, man. Yeah, but for, for, for me and my company, this day is always, always uh, a day before a holiday. It is hard for us. Yeah, because, really? yeah, because this day we celebrate to Father's, we celebrate Father's Day or workers in my company. And then it was good, but at the end of the day, we have to finish some reports because tomorrow we are going to have a off day. Um, but it's interesting because we, we need to finish many reports we have to send all a production report efficiencies and we have to introduce uh, over time if, if our people work after after the the habitual hour special yeah. yeah but tomorrow we are going to we are going to have uh, a holiday and what are the plans for tomorrow? Tell me what, what what are your plans for tomorrow? What you gonna do tomorrow? Right now I don't have any plans, but always with my family, my children and my wife. Um always we we have to uh, go with my my sister together oh, we have a little together. Mirror. yeah and we have a little mirror meeting to celebrate father's day with my okay okay in this case it's not a meeting it's a reunion in this case it's a reunion okay really yeah it's a family what, reunion what the difference between oh meeting Oh, because yeah. if you have a meeting, it's going to be formal. Oh, okay. Okay. So you're going to have a family reunion. Well, you know, that's good, my friend. You know what are my plans for tomorrow? I need to ingress. I need to, 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 to type a lot of data into the system from the Ministry of Education. Yes. I need to get information. I need to get the grade of all my school students. Yeah, because I, I am at home. And, and just with one hand, with my left hand. So tomorrow is going to be very, very interesting for me. Yeah, but teacher, it is, it is bad, but you are going to have a, a good, a good experience with your, with your, for your knowledge, because it is interesting to learn to text with uh, both hands. Well, and, you know, actually, the numbers, I can use, I can get them in the keyboard with both hands. Los numeros no puedo that's not a problem for me. So I can work when it comes to the numbers, to the to the keyboard for numbers. Uh, I can use it with any hand, no problem at all. And I can do it fast. But letters is a problem. And I help my co-workers with the little kiddos grades. And little kiddos grades go with letters. What? So that's going, but the niños pequeños van letras. Little kills are with letters. So it's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I told you teacher because 20 years ago, I remember, I, I broke my hand playing soccer. Ouch. Yeah. Um, but I, I have to, I have to learn. to learn. Yeah. 
to drive with another hand, with, with, with only one hand, and to text or to write only okay. with one hand. I have to learn, I have to learn how to drive. How you to drive? We don't say, yes, we don't say I have to learn to drive. We say I have to learn how to drive. Okay, I have to learn how to write, how to, um, I don't know, how to eat. Okay. Yeah, you know, well, everything, everything is, I mean, I think everything it's possible because I dress myself and everything and it's hard, but I do it. Yeah. What it's, uh, what it's difficult for me is the keyboard and taking a shower. That's hard, just with one hand. Imagine, yeah. Okay, thank you, Wilfredo. Hey, Edward, Edward is laughing, he's happy with that. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, Carlos, hello, my friend, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Fine, teacher, but I just arrived from my work. Um, I can I, see I, you are yeah, you are very formal today. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, relax, relax. I let you breathe for a few minutes. So I have a few okay. minutes. Okay, guys. Now, for today, I'm sorry that it took me long, but uh, sometimes you don't, perhaps you don't notice it, but I've been using cool. No sé si se han fijado, pero he estado usando cool. Because that's the model that we are going to work today. I told you two days ago that we were going to use, that yesterday we were going to work with you and today with cool. We are going to use cool to express possibilities. But before we get into it, we always do the little conversation part, okay? And the good thing is that as we are few tonight, I will, I will have more time to focus on each one of you. Okay, whose computer froze? ¿A quién se le congeló la computadora? Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Not from here. Okay, so we're gonna get the, 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 the conversation. Okay. Okay, guys, the conversation goes like this. Let me just get the, as usual, I always give you the picture. Let me get the picture for you. Okay, and the conversation goes like, good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank, I am okay, but, Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. I repeat. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, now, in this case, guys, there's, oops, sorry. In this case, there's a typo here. Instead of Julie here, must be, in lugar de Julie, tiene que ser a uh, uh, Betty. Okay, Betty in here. But what we are going to do, because we are going to be working just in pairs, we are going to be alternating, okay? Vamos a trabajar solo en pareja. Vamos a alternar. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to create the groups. Let me see. Oopsie. Okay, groups are created. Let's see. Okay, Francisco, in your group, if you want, you can just listen. If it's not possible for you to participate, just listen, okay? Groups are created, please jump in. Hey, Rita, why did you come? I teacher, but uh, sorry, I driving now. Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. Okay, thank you. Hello, Carlos, they left you alone. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, let's do it together, okay? Okay. You start. You start. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing? How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I'm okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask the you could ask for permission? He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, here's Wilfredo so you can practice with him. Okay. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Wilfredo. Teacher. Yep. Only. Yeah, Francisco is busy, right? Okay. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna help you. Okay. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing? How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to HR department and request a form. Cool. I mentioned the reason for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, well, you say mine, mine. <laughs> okay, Carla is here. You can practice with Carla. Carla Marielos is here in the group. Okay, Carla, hello. Reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay, now you start. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I'm okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permissions. Right. You could go to Human Resource Department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Switch again. Uh, good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hank. I am okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong with Betty? 
well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to human resources department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, we are just waiting for your classmates to come in two seconds. There we go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Edward and Carla, you start. Edward, you start. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Hunt. I am okay. But Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You call ask for permission. He is right. You call, go to HR department and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Could, could, and request. 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 Okay, perfect, perfect. Now, let's see, let's see. Carlos, Antonio Murillo, and Wilfredo. Let's see, where's Wilfredo? Wilfredo's not here. Wilfredo checked in the, yeah, in the WhatsApp video. He's having problems with the connection. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry, Carlos. Let's, we'll see who can help you. Um, nom, 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 nom. Carla is going to help you, Carlos. Carla, please, could you help Carlos? Good morning, lady. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I'm okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that you could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to, to HR department and request a form. Cool. I mentioned the question for the permission. Yes, absolutely. Okay, perfect. Reason, reason. Okay. Reason. And remember guys, could, could, could. Letter L doesn't sound. ¿Se recuerdan ayer les decía la L antes de D? No sound. Yesterday we were talking about should. Today we are talking about could, could. Okay, thank you very much, Carla. Thank you, Carlos. Now, uh, let's see, let's see. Fernando and Silvia. Fernando, you will start. Okay, teacher. Uh, good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? 
Hello, Hank. I'm okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick and my sister can't go see her tomorrow. I'm sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission. He's right. You could go to human resource department and request a form. Could I, could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Perfect. Excellent, guys. Very well pronounced. Now, Elvia and Maria, please. Elvia, you will start. Good morning, ladies. How are you doing today? Hello, Han. I'm okay, but Betty is not. Really? What's wrong, Betty? Well, my mother is sick, and my sister can go see her tomorrow. I am sorry to hear that. You could ask for permission? He is right. You could go to AR department and request, and request a form. Could I mention the reason for the permission? Yes, absolutely. Okay. You remember, you can say HR or as you just said before, a human resource. Okay, now let's see, guys. I'm sorry. Before we continue, I need again to get the attendance. So let's see, Ambar Eli Alfaro Gomez, not here. Then uh, Andrea Beatriz, Rendero Cibrián, Eduardo Ademir Noyola Brito, Elvia Chanet Beltrán de Cabrera. Present teacher. Pausa Antonio Landaverde López. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. And, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina. Carla Marielos Guevara Calle. Present teacher. Leslie Fernández Ochoa. Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Roxana Ibet Asencio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Yanira Elizabeth Asencio García. Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. Present teacher. And Sandra Beatriz Hernández Martínez. Okay, guys. Edward, present okay. teacher. Thank you, Edward. Oh, present. Thank you, Rita. Oh, Rita is driving. Is driving home. Okay, guys. Now let's see. Let's see. I prepare a little something for you. Let me share. Okay, we are talking about the use of could, could and couldn't. Now, could is used for expressing ability, but also for expressing ability. If the ability is in the present, we use can or can't, okay? That's the ability, that's a present ability, okay? An example will be, 
I can cook, she can ride a horse, can we run for one hour? Okay. Now, if we are talking about the past, a past ability, we use could or couldn't. Okay. I could cook very well. She could ride a horse. Could you run for an hour? Could you run for an hour when you were younger? Now, listen. Uh, okay. Please remember that because it's very important. Uh, sometimes you will find, if you are reading a book or something, you will find that people say that you use can and could, and that could is the past of can. And yes and no. Okay. The situation is this. Can expresses a present uh, ability, okay? Like uh, I can, oh, I can use the keyboard with this hand, okay? I have that ability, right? Let's see what else can I do. Oh, I can play the trumpet. I can play the trumpet with this hand, you know? And when I was younger, I could, I could play the trombone. Oh, now I'm talking about the past ability. Now I cannot. Why not? Well, my throat, you know, my mouth, because you need to practice a lot, and my hand. So I could play the trombone. You get the idea? So. You talk about a past ability when you use school, but we are going to see more of that. Let me share with you guys. Okay. We use school to show that something is possible, but not certain. Okay, listen, to show that something is possible, but not certain. Now, that's very interesting. And let's look at the example. They could come by car. They could come by car. We are saying maybe they will come by car, okay? Or we are saying like, uh, they could come by car or they could come by Uber, okay, by taxi. In this case, there's the possibility, but we are not certain. No estamos seguros. No tenemos la certeza, okay? Let's continue. They could be at home. Equal, maybe they are at home, okay? Is like in the case of uh, uh, of Maria's co-worker. Maria told me, mm, you know what? They could be they could be at the party, or perhaps they could be working. You see, there are different possibilities. We are not certain. We are not sure. Let me continue. We use can to make general statements about what is possible. It can be very cold here in winter. This is a general statement about something that is possible. You can easily get lost in this town. People often get lost in this town, okay? But that's a general statement. Now, we can use can or cannot to say that something is impossible. That can't be true. You cannot be serious. Now, when we are making requests, we use could, could you, as a polite way of telling or asking someone to do something, okay? Could you take a message, please? Could I have my bill, please? Now, 
in this. Okay, something that you must be aware of is that you can also use can to make a request. Okay. Or a no. Can I help you? Can I explain again? And I can say, could I help you? Could I explain again? What's the difference in this? If I'm telling to you that you can use either one. Okay, the only difference is that can is, could is more polite, okay? Could is more polite. I'm not saying that can is not. Man, I'm not saying that can no is polite, but could is step higher in being polite, okay? Could I help you? You're even more formal, okay? Then if I see you, if I tell you, uh, can I help you? That's a degree lower, okay? It's a step lower, a little bit more informal, but not completely informal, okay? It's just more casual. Some people use it in English. Even uh, if you call for a service, they, uh, they tell you, hey, can I help you? How can I help you? Oh, my name is Lucas Arevalo. You're, you're calling for, they give the name of the company. Uh, please tell me, how can I help you? People use that now, but that's a little bit casual. If I tell you, oh, please tell me, how could I help you? and being more formal. It's even more respectful, okay? Let me continue. Questions up to here? Pregunta? No? Okay. You use could to indicate that someone has the ability to do something. You use could not or couldn't to say that someone was unable to do something, okay? You also use it to talk about the ability. Somebody had the ability, okay? What I explained at the beginning. Look, for my return journey, I felt I could afford the extra and travel first class. I felt I could, I had the ability, I could do it. I could see that something was terribly, terribly wrong. He could not resist telling her the truth. When I left school at 16, I couldn't read or write. A past ability. So when I left school at 16, I couldn't read or write. There was no way she could have coped with a baby around. Look, there was no way she could have. In this case, it's present perfect, okay? She could have coped with a baby around. You use could to indicate that something sometimes happened. Though he had a temper and could be nasty, it never lasted. A pesar que he had a temper and could be nasty, it never lasts. He could be very pleasant when he wanted to. He could be very pleasant when he wanted to. Okay? It's like this. Oh, yeah, I remember my friend. Uh, I remember my friend Sylvia. You know, when she was working, she could be very pleasant. But when she was not working, she was angry all the time. I'm kidding, Sylvia, okay? So you see, you are expressing, you are using could to talk about, uh, in this case, when I say she could be very pleasant, I'm talking about an ability, a past ability, okay? Let's continue. You use could have to indicate that something was a possibility in the past, although it did not actually happen. Now, here you're talking about a possibility in the past that did not actually happen. 
He could have made a fortune as a lawyer. You could have been killed. He did not regret saying what he did, but felt that he could have expressed it differently. Okay. Questions up to here. Preguntas up acá. No. Okay. You use could to indicate that something is possibly true or that it may possibly happen. Doctors told him that disease could have been caused by years of working in smoky clubs. Doctors told him the disease, the enfermedad, could have been caused. Pudo haber sido causada. A possibility. Okay. An improvement in living standards could be years away. He was jailed five years ago and could be released next year. You use could not or couldn't to indicate that it is not possible that something is true. They argue all the time and though and thought it couldn't be good for the baby and couldn't be expected to understand the situation. He couldn't have been more than 14 years old. You see, we are talking about something that is not possible. Okay, it's not possible, something is true. You use could or couldn't in questions when you are making offers and suggestions, okay? I could call the local doctor. We need money, we need money, right? We could go around and ask if people need all jobs done or something. When we say all jobs, son, we say trabajitos, cualquier tipo de trabajo, cosas simple. It's boring to walk all along. Couldn't you go for walks with your friend? You could look for a career abroad where environmental jobs are better paid and more secure. It would be a good idea if you could do this exercise twice or three times on separate days. Okay, question? Okay, guys, let's see. Now, could. We use could uh, when, when it's in a question, remember, if it's in a question, it's a request or could be an offer also. Like, uh, could I offer you some water? Now, I have one that is very interesting. It's it's pretty formal, but some people use it, uh, like I use it. Imagine that you invite me to your house. I will ask you, hey, I'm sorry. I will ask uh, Maria. Maria asked me to go help her paint her house. And I'm helping her and I tell her, hey, Maria, could I trouble you with a glass of water? Could I trouble you with a glass of water? In that case, I am saying, Eh, le podría molestar con un vaso de agua. Could I trouble you with a glass of water? Okay, that's very formal, right? That's pretty, pretty formal. So, now, up to here, do we have questions with the use of could? No, pregunta con el uso de could. Tell me, guys, it's the time, it's the moment. Yes, yeah, teacher. Yeah, tell me, tell me. When I make a request uh, for in, in, uh, for formal way, I can use uh, call you please or call you yes. help me. Uh, what is the difference if I use uh, can you please help me or can you please uh, the, only, the only the only difference is that you are being more polite when you use could. Can okay. you help me, please? Could you help me, please? 
I mean, it's like this. Uh, imagine that you are asking for help of a coworker, somebody with whom you work on a daily basis. You say, hey, can you help me please? Yes. Now, imagine that you are asking the help of your boss. Well, Joe. <laughs> you say, to your boss, you say, could you? Of course, right? You are not going to say to your boss, hey, man, can you help me, please? <laughs> you get in trouble, right? Yes, teacher. It's, it's, like, it's like Elvia, you know, Elvia, she with her husband, she says, oh, could you help me, please, all the time? Yeah. Oh, she says, hey, can you help me, please? You see, it's more informal. You get it? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Any other question, guys? No? Okay, now let me share with you what we have in the manual. Actually, the manual just asks from us a little piece. And what the manual asks us is to analyze how long this. Okay, let's see. The manual asks us to see that we use the modal verb could to express possibility. The structure, remember the structure. The subject plus, oops, what am I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They made a mistake here, a typo. Should be could. But remember, it's the subject plus the modal plus the main verb, plus the complement. You could request a day off from the conversation. Do you remember? You could talk to your supervisor or the manager. She could explain her situation. We could take the company's transportation, okay? Now, guys, we have here the exercise. Read the situations and write a sentence expressing possibility with could. Okay, we have, you don't have a car. Someone of your family is sick. You need to request a legal, a legal document. You feel tired of sick. Now we are going to do this exercise a little bit different, okay? Why, what are we going to do? Okay, what we're gonna do is the following. I will divide you in pairs and you will give me I will assign to each pair a different one, a different situation, okay? Le voy a asignar a cada pareja una situación distinta. Okay? Right now, I am sharing with you. Okay. Now, let me get the group so I can assign what you're going to do. Let's see, group number one is Edward and Francisco and Carla. Okay, group number one. No, let me recreate the groups. Okay, group number one is Elvia, Maria, and Walter. You're going to do the first situation. You don't have a car, okay? I need you to give me suggestions using could, okay? Express possibility. Now, group number two is Carlos, Fernando, and Rita. You got someone of your family is sick. Number three is Francisco and Silvia. You have, you need to request a legal document. And number four is Edward and Carla. Your situation is you feel tired or sick, either one, okay? Repeat. So guys. Teacher, please, number yes. four, Edward. You feel tired or sick. Ya se las envía en el grupo. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. So jump in.
for sure. Cool, cool, cool. Yes, but um, Walter, I can hear you because the connection is is very unstable. Uh huh. Um, okay. only explain the cool or couldn't is a model similar well should or shouldn't. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My bad. <laughs> I thought you were saying that we were going to use should. Remember, I need three sentences minimum. Okay. Just sentences, okay? Just sentences now. For the moment, it's Okay. Can someone of someone of your Remember? family is uh -huh. Yes. Remember, I just need three sentences, okay? No conversation right now, just three sentences. Okay. My, okay. my, see. Yes. Hello, guys. Remember, I just need three sentences, okay? Just sentences. Three, three sentences, sure. Yep, using cool, related to the, to the topic I assigned you. You are group number three, right? Yes. Okay. 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 Cool. Okay, guys, remember, I just need three sentences from you. Recuerdense que solo necesito tres oraciones. Okay. Okay. Carla, can you stay tonight after the class? Puede que hacernos un notito después de la clase? Yes. Perfect. Excellent. Teacher. Yes. Como la que nos tocó a nosotros, dice, you feel tired, sick. Yeah, you can tell me, oh, you could go to the doctor. Ajá, uh -huh. you could, ajá. Uh -huh. Así le estaba diciendo yo a Joel, pero no sabía si así era. Yeah, no, it's correct, it's correct. Está bien, you could visit the doctor. Yeah, well, no, visit, go to the doctor, like that, straight out. You could go to the doctor. <laughs> You could paid medicine. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 Before I forget, Okay. Uh, Okay. Okay. Walter, on Friday, I... Let's see. Yeah, Friday. I need you to stay after the class a few minutes, okay? Tal vez se me quedo unos minutitos después de la clase. Friday. Uh, Friday, viernes. Yep. Ah, okay. Perfect. Este, Thank you. Mañana no, teacher, mañana no hay clase. Oh, no. Tomorrow no class. Ah, es que no mandaron el aviso, pero como yo me, me senté un momento, por eso preguntaba. Uh, no, but tomorrow no class. Tomorrow is the best day of all. <laughs> okay. Most special day. Yes. Okay. Tomorrow is the best day in the world. The only one that should be celebrated. Thursday is ah, Thursday is a good one. <laughs> Finish, guys? No. Pero no. Uh, <laughs> teacher, how? In actually. <laughs> He could be take a, uh, it could be testing in case of coronavirus. By a car. Yes, Marie, I'm sorry. You were asking me something. Tell me. Teacher, I have um, a question. Uh, how do you say, tomar un préstamo? Okay, pedir, pedirlo o tomarlo? O pedirlo. hacerlo, o hacerlo. Solicitarlo. Hacer Solicitar uh, un ask for, solicitar. Ask, ask for. for. Yeah, that would be like this. Look, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Entonces, I ask. call every phone. 
No. Ask for. Ask for. Uh, ¿Siempre estamos de verdad? Uh -huh. Ask for a loan. Ah, ah, no. Ask for a loan, okay. By car. <laughs> a loan, to buy car. To buy a car. To buy a car. To buy. Yeah, I need to buy another car. <laughs> and me, I need a car. <laughs> no, I need to buy for real. I mean, they don't want me no more riding a motorcycle. They don't care about the most. Is the most dangerous? Yeah, yeah, it's more dangerous. But the problem is that I already have a car. <laughs> ya tengo uno, but. That car is going to be like my son is going to be using it. Me for uh -huh. that number. So I need to get an ex account. Is the most More expensive. It's expensive, but the gas is more expensive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Terrible. And that's the that's the good thing of a motorcycle. Mm, yes. Cheap. Very cheap. What about you, Walter? Do you ride a motorcycle? Excuse me, teacher. Do you ride a motorcycle? Do you ride? Ride a motorcycle? Uh, and a motor? No, teacher. Uh, um, a car, I had a car. Okay, you don't like motorcycles? No. You don't like them? Ah, they are fun. Son divertidas. <laughs> Mostly when you fall. Okay. Yeah, motorcycles are fun. Very fun. Son muy divertidas. <laughs> Mostly when you fall. Más que todo cuando no se cae. I'm broken. Ya lo va a sacar. Miren, ni hemos hecho solo uno. Hemos hecho. Sure. Yes, Francisco, tell me. Yo creo que me salí de la... <laughs> From the group. No yeah, problem. Sure. Every, everybody's coming back. Todo viene ya en unos segundos. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, okay. Okay, let's see. Group number one, Elvia, Maria, and Walter. Walter, please give me the sentences. Okay, teacher. Uh, uh, you, do have, you, do, you do not have a car. Okay. Uh, at school, uh, apply for a loan to buy a car. Okay, apply, apply for a loan to buy a car. Excellent. Hello. Next. That's it. Yes, Maria. Open your microphone, Maria. What? Sorry. What? Elvia told me to take a Uber when her go to the work. Okay, yeah. going to work could take an hour. And um, could ask for uh, my boyfriend to lend me his car. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Group number two, Carlos, tell me about your people. Hey, teacher. Uh... The question is, someone of your 
someone of your family is sick. The recommendation okay. is uh, he call go to the doctor. He could be tested. Uh, he could take the medicine. Uh, he call and visit your family. Okay. Uh, he call and go to the work. He couldn't go to work. Work, okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. So it was you and Fernando, right? Excellent. Now, Francisco, Eduardo, and Silvia. Silvia, please tell me. Okay, teacher. Um, the situation is that you need to request a legal document. I'm sorry with that motorcycle. <laughs> Okay, no I know it's a lot of noise. <laughs> okay. And you need to request a legal document. Okay, you should hire a lawyer. Um, you should explain him uh, what type of documents you want to request. And finally, um, you could follow all the steps to finish the process. Okay, perfect, Silvia. Just remember, hire, hire. You don't hire. need to emphasize the, the, the last letter. No me enfatice mucho la última letra. Just hire, hire. Okay. Hire. Okay. And for the rest of the class, for the rest of the class, the verb she was using is this, hire, contratar. Thank you very much, Sylvia. Appreciate it. So let's see. And last one, we got Edward, Ademir, and Carla. Okay, Carla, you tell me. Hello, teacher. The situation is you feel tired, sick. You could visit the doctor. Uh huh. You, you could pay medicine. Perfect. You could take a rate. Excellent. Okay, guys, now, just the first three situations, we are going to make it a conversation. So I have moved uh, Carla and let's see who else did I move? I came on moving. And Sylvia with Francisco. So, guys, we are going to make it into a conversation. You will have four minutes because you already have the sentences. Just you are going to make it into a real conversation, okay? And then when we come back, you are going to role play the conversation. Five minutes to prepare that activity, starting right now. Please jump in. Okay, ladies, you need to request a legal document, right? Now you need to make it into a conversation, okay? Ahora me das en conversación. Hello. Okay, teacher. Perfect, perfect. perfect. Hi, Dean, are the applicants for a loan to buy a car? Is uh, a... Apply, uh, Walter, apply, apply. Apply, okay, apply. Is a better... Option? Is a better... Um, is uh, will ask a, a for better? a loan to apply to buy a car? Yes. Yeah, okay, uh, remember, it's a conversation what you're doing right now, okay? Um, yes. Okay. okay. Well, um, in my case, uh, uh, I need 
I need a car. I... It's sick. Yes. Uh, and I say, my, my wife, my with uh, my. Say, my, my, my the, the autocorrector. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alisco nunca pierde aquí, okay. Fernando. <laughs> I'm sorry. La que no, la que no gana empata. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear. I'm just to hear that. Uh, okay, you don't need to say I'm. You you just say in a real real conversation. You just say sorry, sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. So did, uh, what what happened? ¿Qué tiene? What's wrong? What's, uh, wrong? what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh, okay. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong with what's wrong with? with I'm sorry. <laughs> what's wrong with her, Carlos? Okay. She. She has a headache. She has. She has. She has. She has a headache. And she has. Malo para diagnóstico. She has. She has. I am so sorry. I am so sorry for your wife, my friend. <laughs> She has a headache, and, and, okay. uh, and I don't, and I don't know. Okay, guys. Now I'll give you Me another too. tip. You are talking with friends. We don't say she has a headache. You say she's got. She's, she's apostrophe okay. s. She's got. She's got got g o t. Got. Yep. Uh, she she's, she's got. got a headache. Uh, she's got a headache. And I don't know and to I do. I don't know. And I don't know what to do. And I don't know what to do. And I don't know what to do. Okay. And okay. Edward, Edward um, say. Edward say. You call. You you call visit the doctor or or. You know, I I would check the insurance papers for. Yo revisaría el seguro. <laughs> yeah, that, that helps. Okay, no. I'll be back. I'll be back. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Ready? Sure. Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. No. To apply okay. by a car. To a car, yes. And you ask me uh, why I don't have a car? <laughs> or I don't know. <laughs> Is the necessary uh, Maria and you have a car uh, for you? Uh, she doesn't even work outside of her house. She doesn't need a car. Hmm. <laughs> Is the reason no? for the seller the uh, my oldest car? <laughs> oh, that's why I sold. That's why I sold. My older my car. Oldest, yeah. My oldest car. You don't need it. Uh huh. And I buy a uh, other one. Is the most recent one. And I don't translate uh, the work. And I. It's more easy in this moment. Okay. It's easier. Easier. It's easier. Uh, I don't have a car, or I stay. Or I don't. Uh -huh, I don't have a car. You don't. You don't really need it. Yes. And it's an extra expense. Yes, I maybe ahorrar. 
save save the police of a insurance insurance police um the gas <laughs> and yes. the maintenance yes. 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 gas insurance maintenance maintenance yeah i mean your savings yes <laughs> that's cool that's cool excellent okay guys two minutes okay 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 uh, uh, maria uh, uh, on the answer what is the answer yes uh, i have a question uh, uh, the Bueno, eso lo vamos a esperar. Voy a one more minute. En un minuto todavía. Okay, 60 seconds, they're coming back. Okay, guys, let's see. We are exactly on time. So let's see. Maria and Walter, please, your conversation. Okay, teacher. Hi, Is Walter. Maria? Yes. Hello, Maria. Uh, Walter, you why say me in this moment you don't have a car? And um, it's very necessary because the situation in the country is the most dangerous. Yes, Maria, it's necessary um, for, for the moment. Uh, I did uh, call, call uh, a report a loan to buy a car. Maria, uh, you necessary? Uh, I have a car. Walter, uh, in this moment, no. 
uh, because I working at home and it's not very necessary. When I need, I could take a Uber. Okay, thank you, Maria. <laughs> and only that teacher. Okay, no, it's perfect. It's perfect. Just Walter, remember, it's... apply, apply. Apply. So, oh, do you remember? Okay. Apply, apply. Okay, no teacher. Worry, don't apply. worry. Now, let's see. Next group uh, Carlos, Edward, and Fernando. Okay. Uh, hey, guys, how are you? Fine. And you? I'm okay, but my wife is sick. Oh, sorry to hear that. What's wrong with her, Carlos? She's got a headache, and I don't know what to do. Could you visit the doctor? Actually, I have a problem. What's the problem? Money? <laughs> uh, no. I, I have a I have a lot of work. Could you ask for permission? Yes, but I have to finish a um, um, very important report. Could I help you with that? Sure. Thank you. Get ah. well soon. <laughs> very nice co-workers. <laughs> bueno, compañero. Yeah, that's cool. Excellent, guys. Well done. And very interactive. I like that. Thank you. I mean, uh, no, no, it was cool. Now, let's see. Carla, Silvia, and Francisco. Hello. Okay, ready, guys? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good evening, guys. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I am doing well. I am thinking about I need a legal, a legal document. Could you recommend? First, you call a high lawyer. Uh, yes, that's a good idea. And then you could explain him the type of document you want to request. You could follow all the steps to finish the process. Okay, girls, okay. I'm doing that. Okay, Thanks. we have you. We hope you get your, your document yeah. that you're requesting. Good luck with that. Thanks, girl. Okay, good. Excellent, guys. Very well done. Before we continue, let me get the attendance one last time. Amber Alfaro Gomez, Andrea Beatriz Rendero Cibrián, Edward Ademir Noyola Brito. Present teacher. Thank you. Elvia Janet Beltran de Cabrera. Okay. Fausto Antonio Landaverde López, Fernando Marvin González Martínez, present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía, present teacher. Carla Marielos Guevara Callejas, present teacher. Jocelyn Alexandra Fuentes Molina, Leslie Fernández Ochoa, Linda Marlene Acosta Barrera. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Marta Patricia Díaz González. Rita Beatriz Cabrero de Sea. Roxana, Be Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio García. And Carlos Antonio Murillo Hernández. 
Okay, guys. Before I forget, antes que se me olvide, eh, perdón, voy a hacer una pausa en español. El viernes les va a caer el correo de la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿ok? ¿Se recuerdan? Esa la van a llenar conmigo hasta el último día de clase, ¿ok? Así que tranquilos porque es más, el último día todavía les voy a, tenemos un videito preparado para, creo que también se los van a enviar el video a ustedes, como la demostración de cómo se llena, porque hoy tenemos el detallito de que Insafor no nos permite que si alguien se equivocó, se corrija. Está más complicado. Y recuérdense que es un requisito para, para que ellos le den el pase como que se ha cumplido con todo el curso. Entonces, Mejor este, vamos a hablar un poquito de ello el viernes, el lunes, pequeños detallitos se puede ir avanzando, ¿ok? Eh, thank you very much. It was a very interesting class. I mean, it's good when there's just a few because we can interact more. And today I'm happy that you were practicing a lot. Eh, thank you very much, guys. See you Friday. Tomorrow is your day off. Enjoy your day off. Bye. Thank you, bye, teacher. Good night, Hugh. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night guys. Good night, good night, good night, good night, guys. Hello, Carla. Hello, teacher. How are you? I am tired. You're tired? A long day? Yes, teacher. Okay, Carla, 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 let me see, Carla. Okay, Carla. Just give me a second. We are missing one, two, three, four. Okay, before anything else. Antes que otra cosa. Carla, I need you to do me a favor and I will go on the other. Okay, Carla. Eh, tell me, tell me, tell me. Teacher, a mí, a mí sí me How confundió. can I help you? Yes. A mí sí me yes, confundió me. lo de los months y los paragraphs, no sé cómo se llama. What, 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 what? Repítame. ¿Se le confundió lo de? Mons, para ocupar. Lo que estuvimos viendo, creo que en la clase de Antier, creo que fue. Modal. Para. Uh, oh, los idioms. Ah, sí, es. Idioms. Ok. Now, with idioms, remember. Eh, los idioms son este, like, uh, you could say it, you could call them like, uh, estamos hablando que los idioms son como dichos, ¿ok? So, those are expressions people use on a daily basis, son expresiones que las personas usan a diario, but they are like, uh, I mean, The situation with idioms is that you need to memorize them. La cuestión con ellos es que hay que memorizarlos because they cannot actually be translated exactly. No pueden traducirse de una manera directa. Because if you try to translate them, they will not make sense. No van a tener sentido. Okay? Okay. Like, uh, let's see. Veamos si recordamos algunos de los idioms que estuvimos viendo. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Déjame ver si encuentro idioms, idioms, idioms. Ok, veamos. Idioms. Eh, water under the bridge. Piece of cake. Ok. Cuando decimos, por ejemplo, piece of cake, yo le digo, oh, today's class was easy, was very easy. La clase de ahora estuvo muy fácil. I can say, oh, today's class was a piece of cake. La clase de ahora fue a piece of cake. Quiere decir, literalmente quiere decir una porción de pastel. 
Pero lo que estoy dando a entender es it was very easy. Ok. Ok. Entonces, así es como se usa. Sustituyen palabras normales y transmiten una idea. Lo que pasa es que los civil son palabras que la gente usa muy a menudo. Ok. Uh, como por ejemplo, este, imagine that you need somebody. Imagínese que usted necesita que alguien le cubra en el trabajo. Y usted le dice a esa persona, you know what? Please help me. Uh, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Literalmente no tendría sentido porque sería este, yo te rasco la espalda, tú me rascas la mía. That doesn't make sense, right? No tiene sentido. Pero, ¿qué quiere decir? You know what it means? ¿Cómo lo entenderíamos nosotros? Lo entenderíamos directamente como decir, este, hoy por ti, mañana por mí. You get it? Okay. That's, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Veamos otro idioma que es como, mm, oh, you know, eh, I don't like this student, Carla. Mi no me agrada esta estudiante, Carla. She connects to my class once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. Una vez en una luna azul. It doesn't make sense. Quiere decir, allá el tiempo. Once in a blue moon. ¿Ok? Ok. No sé si me voy explicando. Ya estoy ya. Entonces, así es como se usa. Do you have another question? Something else that I could help you? Hello. Hola. Hello, teacher. You're checking out your notes? Revisando sus notas. Lo, lo otro que sí me cuesta bastante es para dar direcciones. Addresses. Ok, ok. Hmm. Well, en español that, me cuesta decirla <laughs> en inglés. Yeah, I understand. Sí lo entiendo. Este, actually, that's the problem. That's actually the problem. For some of us, it's easier than for some others to give addresses. Mire, eso es igual en todos los idiomas. Si uno se nos hace más fácil dar direcciones que ahora. If it's easy for you in Spanish, it will be easy for you in English. Si es fácil para usted en español, lo va a ser en inglés. But if it's easy, if it's difficult for you in Spanish, it's going to be difficult for you in English. Yes, teacher. So don't worry about that. No se preocupe por eso. I mean, it's important that you know the vocabulary used. Es importante que conozca el vocabulario because when you ask for an address, para cuando usted pida una dirección. But besides that, don't worry. I mean, uh, it's normal. Es normal that, I mean, we don't, it's hard for some of us to give an address like exact. Okay. Okay. Well, Carla, I don't know. Espero haber sido de ayuda. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Have a good night. Rest. Descanse. See you Friday. Don't forget. On time. Feliz día del padre, teacher. <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, Have teacher. Good... Have a good night. Take care. Good night.
Okay, let's see. Today's class was very interesting. We were talking about very interesting, very interesting aspects like uh, we were talking about how to use cool, which is easy but needs to be well explained. And I think I hope. that everything got clear for everybody. Well, let's see. It's time already. It's time already for a big class. And we'll see each other next class on Friday because tomorrow is a holiday. Well, bye bye, guys. Take care. See you.